Who uh, would want to do this, do you think? I don't know. No enemies? No. What about your wife? No. Come on, think. I'm sure you'll come up with someone. We help out more people than the government. Maybe uh, we should just get to this complaint report. Uh, here we are. Uh, place of business. I own a barbershop at 124th at Lenox mm -hmm. and a laundromat at 146 in St. Nick. What about the weed? Sorry? You sell weed out of your house, right? That'd be a place of business, too. Look, the police at the precinct don't say anything. They know I'm a good guy, a good neighbor. Mr. Morrell, we're not here for that. We're just here to take the report. Was it possibly gang-related? Do we look like we're in a gang to you? He's got the shooter! He's got the shooter! He was shooting those far hearts and the gun blew up in the street. He burnt up my home, cut up my beautiful wife, and why? Over some damn weed. That's it. Going. Fantastic, Pee Wee, stupendous! I just got back from the King family reunion. Oh, we read all about it in the Puppet Land Gazette. No, all the kings were there. Larry King, Stephen King, Don King. Let me just pick up a couple of those names you just dropped. <laughs> Way to go, Rick. All right. Gus is looking strong. It says it's a new conditioning program. Well, if he keeps it up, he's we'll batting clean up again for the big club in April. <laughs> oh. Hey, we need some help here. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm sorry to bother you, but you... You seen a collie run by here by, by Yang Big, got a magnificent brown coat. Goes by the name of Daisy. Oh, no, Daisy? Yeah. Well, that's my niece's name. No kidding. Yeah. Well, I was walking down Fifth Avenue. She just up and ran away. Mola just ran away. Does she have tags? Of course she's got tags. You sure you haven't seen her? No, I haven't seen her. No? Oh, man. Hi, my name is Rhonda. <laughs> a woman in transition. Literally. I've done the boobs. I'm just waiting on some more funds to address the penis. Just in case you girls would like to help, which would be fears. I'm taking donations. <laughs> We've all noticed a gradual change in Fiona's behavior and grades, but this is the first time she's ever been disrespectful to a teacher. Exactly how was she disrespectful? Fiona called Miss King an a-hole. 